Konnichiwa, this is Kristen back, this time from Tokyo, Japan. I flew here today from Bangkok and was supposed to take a flight back to Chicago, but this was canceled. So, here I am overnight. I'll get up in the morning and we'll go to Shanghai and then take a flight directly to Chicago to be home. So I'll make one more video once I am there. But in this, I would like to give some advice on ways that you are going to be able to try at least to avoid getting ripped off when you're using public transportation throughout Bangkok. So there's a couple of main ways that you can go that are going to have set prices and it's not possible for this to happen, such as the canal or the BTS. Here you pay an exact amount for a ticket, you receive it and you go to your destination. But there are a few other senses where uh, you might have some more risk or issues. The first is with a taxi. So all over the streets you have these bright colored pink, blue, orange, green, white, yellow taxis and they will stop on the side of the road, you wave them down like this. If they have a red light on the front of their windshield that is on, means they're vacant. They will pull over and you tell them your destination. Sometimes they don't know what the heck you're talking about because they don't speak the same language and uh, if you can't quite say it like Thai people say it, they might not know and might leave. But if they do stay, and you tell them where you want to go and they tell you a set price like 100, 200, 500 baht, whatever it is, don't get in the taxi. You always ask for a meter. There is a taxi meter in every single taxi and they have the ability to use the meter. So if they are not willing to use the meter, absolutely do not get in the taxi. A lot of the time uh, you will pay at least twice what you should be paying if they offer you a set price than if you would use the meter. So one way that you can avoid uh, having a lot of drivers trying to do this to you is if you're in a popular tourist destination like Khao San Road or downtown area in Sukhumvit, move away from the main road where all the tourists are. If you just walk across the street, the chances of taxi drivers just sitting on the side of the road trying to lure you into their car is a lot less likely. You'll find a driver going by that's more likely to just think that you're out and about uh, rather than just at the tourist destination, think that you're just a clueless uh, farang or foreigner waiting to get ripped off and will use the meter with you most of the time. But even if it takes you 15 tries to get a meter, I think it's worth it personally because even if you save 100 baht, that's three meals and eventually this really, really adds up. One more thing with taxis is you always want to have some kind of map, whether it be on your phone or a handheld knowing kind of which direction your destination is uh, if you're not so familiar with how to get there. This is helpful because there's a lot of stories about taxi drivers picking up foreigners and driving them completely the wrong way and then back to where they're supposed to go or taking a longer loop or kind of alternative route to get where you're supposed to go just to run the taxi meter up and up and up so that you have to pay more in the end. Sometimes people don't know at all, but if you have a map, at least you kind of have a general idea of where you're supposed to be going and if this is not the way you're supposed to go then you can tell the driver or just get out. One more thing is uh, it's kind of funny but it seems like road rules in Bangkok do not exist and this goes along with the fact that they kind of don't care how many people are in a car. So if you have three friends, four, five, sometimes six, and you're comfortable enough with each other or you feel safe enough and you want to pile everyone into a car then you feel free to do so. And most of the time, the taxi driver won't care and the police won't either. Then you can split it and it makes it cheaper for you. Next, you have tuk-tuks. These are kind of like big metal man-made vehicles, um, very specific to Thailand. A lot of them will say Thailand on the back. Um, they're open air, they have lights all on the inside, and they have a driver on the front of it. A lot of times they'll be playing disco music uh, or something of the sort kind of laughing and joking with you. It's a more fun atmosphere, but if you don't know kind of the general price of how much you should pay to get to your destination, you shouldn't use it because the driver will start with a higher price and will likely try to rip you off almost every time or pretty much, yeah, every single time. So you wanna be able to negotiate with him on this and it is more fun and if you have enough people, then sometimes it's worth it to do it every once in a while for sure. Also, the tuk-tuk drivers will often stand on the side of the road and say, oh, come, come, free tour, free tour for you. And they will try to tell you, they'll take you around to all these glamorous temples and see all this tourist stuff. But really, they will just take you for free to uh, tailor shop after tailor shop after jewelry shop if it's at night.
If you know how to say, hi, I'm a student uh, at Tamasat, for example, Sawadika, Chanlian Ti, Mahalai Tamasat, explaining I'm an exchange student here, then this is automatically a way for most uh, drivers, motor taxis, tuk-tuks, taxis, to respect you a little more and to try to not rip you off so much. Also, you can bargain prices with them uh, with numbers in Thai, or ask how much they want to charge in Thai, and also you can give them directions. You can say, oh, go turn left, turn right, if the taxi driver is not going the right way, and if he doesn't still follow the way that you're trying to go, then you uh, really kind of just want to get out of the situation, especially if he knows you can speak a little Thai and is still trying to rip you off. And finally, maybe the best way to avoid getting ripped off when you're in Bangkok in terms of transportation is have a Thai friend with you. Uh, this is pretty much going to solve all problems from them thinking, oh, this is just a foreigner, or a group of foreigners, and will help a lot. So this is my advice on ways to try to avoid uh, getting ripped off with public transportation in Bangkok, and I hope it helps you out. See you guys soon.